here for. How are you? I really miss having you in class, but I can't wait to see you next week. But that doesn't mean we can't be having fun in English while we're at home. You know that we've been looking at fables in English this week. Well, you know our known fable, Hare and the Tortoise. Well, I'm going to read you that story today. And you recall that we were making actions to the story last week in class. Well, see how much of the story you can remember and how many of the reactions you can do while I read the story. Are you ready? So, take a breath. One day in March, after a morning of carefree playing with their friends on the hillside, Hare was herring her way home along the track when she came across the tortoise. The tortoise was going the same way, but slowly, very slowly, as tortoises do. Hare stopped to tease him. Can't you go a little faster? I mean, how do you ever arrive? Well done, Classics. I heard you say our favourite line with me there. Oh, I arrive, said the tortoise, very politely. I always arrive, sooner rather than later. True, said the fox, passing by. I'm telling you, this is a very speedy tortoise. Speedy tortoise, scoffed Hare. No such thing. Listen, Hare, snapped the tortoise, losing his patience a little. I get where I want fast enough, thank you. I'll prove it. How about a race? The first one to the river is a winner. Hare leapt with laughter. Ha, a race. No problem, I'll beat you. Easy peasy. You set us off, Fox. I'm ready. Ready, steady, go, Fox called out. And off they went, hair as fast as the wind. And the tortoise, well, a very slow tortoise. The hare raced away and was soon out of sight. When she looked behind her, the tortoise was nowhere to be seen. Hare thought to herself, well, there's no point in showing off. I'll just lie down here in the sun and have a nap and wake up when the tortoise comes. But before she knew it, Hare was fast asleep. Meanwhile, the tortoise, plodding on very slowly until he came to where the hare was sleeping on the grass. Ah, oh, hare looks very tired with all that running. Best not wake her, he thought to himself. And on he went, slowly and steadily, up the hills and down the dales towards the river. Just then, a fly landed on the hare's nose and she woke with a start and soon remembered the race. <gasps> she hared over the fields as fast as she could go. But when she got to the river bank, the tortoise was already drinking. <laughs> what kept you, hare? He asked. The hare walked off in a huff far too cross to reply. And the fox, well, he just laughed himself all the way home. Well done, Year 4. I knew you were copying many of the actions there with me. I'm really, really proud of you. Can you remember that when we were looking at fables, they all had a moral? Can you think what a moral might mean? And what do you think the moral is of the hare and the tortoise? See if you can remember and let me know. Drop me a little note and I can't wait to see the actions from your other fables that you're going to be reading this week. Bye for now, Year 4.